Oh guys, this is Prince Charming reacting to, I think, cartoon conspiracies, I think. <clears throat> Parents are his real parents. That's why he has such a big ass poop on his head. It's the result of deformity because his grandparents or his real parents had him at such a late age. And oh. you know the older you are, the higher chance of like deformities and whatnot occur. So that's why he has such a big ass football. <laughs> that's why he has a big ass football head. Just because of deformity, because his parents or his grandparents had him late in life. <laughs> Yo, what the fuck is up? It's Prince Charming. Alright guys, say I got for you a really interesting, really creepy video, so I hope you guys don't get the chills really easy, because you're gonna get the No, I don't. As many cartoon shows have like some hidden- If you guys get spooked, then just don't watch this video, I guess. Like, you know, if you, you get spooked gotcha. real easy. I'm gonna go ahead and tell y'all about 10 conspiracy theories about cartoons you probably don't know about. Smash that like button, let's get- Probably all of them I know about, because I know about a bunch of conspiracy theories. The moon was a hologram. Do you know any cartoon conspiracy theories? Uh, Michael Jackson. Still alive, alive, which I really don't believe. Right, Tupac guys, is on an island. Uh, so Elvis is still alive, but he's fat. know this show's about babies who can talk, but they can't talk to adults. Who? So it has oh, yeah, Tommy, Chucky, Ranch. Phil, Lil, Angelica, you know the whole game. So the way this conspiracy theory goes is that Angelica is actually the only kid that really exists. The rest of the Rugrats are just yep, I heard this of Angelica's one. imagination. Yeah, First I heard of all, this Chucky one. died a long time ago along with yeah, his mom. That's I heard why this his one. dad, Chaz, is such a nervous wreck all the time. Tommy was a stillborn. That's why his dad Stu was always in the basement making kids for the son he never had. The DeVille for the one. family of Phil and Lil, they had an abortion. And Angelica never knew whether the baby was a boy or girl, so she just created boy and girl twins. And since for all of them are just figment of Angelica's imagination, that's the reason I hold why this, she's I hold this wrong to the babies I hold this one. Adults. Because the babies don't exist. She's really talking to herself. She's talking something she created. Well, she kind of would make sense. Because they don't exist. All the adventures they go on, everything they do, is all a part of Angelica's imagination. So yeah, this was a real creepy sad one. Just ruins my childhood. Angelica could very well just be crazy. The entire Rugrats show was just a result of a kid's imagination. Are you guys creeped out yet? Because we just started. We're going to go deeper. We're about to go deeper. You know, Prince Charming only goes deeper. <laughs> so for the next one, we got SpongeBob. Yeah, Very I've seen this one. Show that so if you're going to... Yeah. Yes, I've seen this one. Yes. 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 Yes.
Okay, here's a very good one. The Flintstones. I've seen this one. Go They're in the future. The Flintstones doesn't actually take place Probably. in the past. Yep. It actually takes place in the, the post-apocalyptic future. future. It's like the 100 Adventure Time. It basically takes place after humanity has devastated itself. Yeah. So Flintstones aired during the Cold War, so it's highly believed that nuclear explosions pretty much devastated the world. And Flintstones are pretty much the post-apocalyptic future of it. So really, we're not looking in the past. Really looking in the future. Who knows? If there's a nuclear explosion, maybe dinosaurs will come back. We'll have to run in our Shit. Hopefully not. I really wouldn't want to do that, you know. I, I like plumbing. I like electricity. But that's one conspiracy theory that can actually happen in real life, guys. So next up, we got the Powerpuff Girls. So the way this one goes is that the Powerpuff Girls, there's not actually three of them. There's only one. And she doesn't actually have any superpowers at all. Really, the original Powerpuff Girl, if we can even call her a Powerpuff Girl still, she has multiple personality disorder. That's why the three original Powerpuff Girls have completely different personalities. Yes. And the reason why she suffers from multiple personalities disorder is because she had an older brother that bullied her throughout yeah. her early childhood she just constantly 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 got bullied so you know that kind of had an effect on her life so she manifested her older brother into a nemesis called mojo jojo, jojo. which i'm sure you all know jojo. about that little evil monkey that mojo, keeps jojo. running around fucking shit up yeah that's her older brother that's why they constantly have to fight mojo jojo because that's her way of finally fighting against her older brother so this one's ed ed and eddie and this one's creepy as hell so you know how ed, ed and eddie live in a cul-de-sac you know there's no really way to go through it Conspiracy theory goes that that cul-de-sac is cursed. So everybody that lives on the block is yes, cursed. Yes, I really understand. Nothing like that. They're stuck in their own little world. It's like a purgatory level. They can't die. They can't create. They yeah. can't do nothing. They're just stuck there forever. That's why they don't age. That's why it seems like they keep doing repetitive shit because they don't know how to move on. So whether or not that was true is really creepy to me just because I used to love this show and it so could right. be plausible. It sounds plausible. But as far as the show goes, it's just a theory. So it's not proven yet. Yeah. Next up, we got Garfield. And this is creepy as well. So in our old Garfield comic, he's suddenly wakes up in an abandoned house. He calls out for his dog brother, Odie, and his owner, John, but they don't respond to him. And then slowly yes. by slowly, he I've leaves himself one. back inside the house. So I we have reason one. to think that it was just like they an don't illusion. exist in the first place. Not an illusion, just but... a stray cat in an abandoned house. Just imagining the whole thing. Yeah. He created the owner, his best friend, everything. And he's starving too, which makes the hallucination seem very real. So yes. everything about his family, about his life, is just one long delusion. Yeah. Hopefully Garfield can get some lasagna too, because I hate to see my boy do it. So up next we got Courage the Cowardly Dog. So wait, so the way this theory goes is that Courage is just a normal dog. He doesn't live in the middle of nowhere. He has normal parents and everything. It's just the fact that he lives with old people, and old people tend to not usually go outside their home. So Courage never leaves his home, so he I've doesn't know anything about the new world. No, actually, outside I haven't, world. I haven't. So that's why whenever something outside comes in, he's always so shocked and new to it. Since he never seen it before, and since he's a dog, he kind of like twists it and kind of makes it more scary or more terrifying than what it really mm. is. That's why his owners can never really see the true horrors in these, just because He's a dog and it's just new to him. The only thing he needs to be able to do is go outside more, and my boy Curse would be good. Dexter's laboratory. This one's interesting. So the way this theory goes is that Dexter's laboratory was never real. He created it all in his mind. Everything was created in yes, his I've mind. Yes, I He was socially awkward and didn't really have any friends, so he created it all just so he can have you know something to pass the time with, so he wouldn't feel lonely, so he'll feel like he's doing something important. That's why he has such a bizarre accent, because it's all part of his imagination. The laboratory isn't real. That's why you always wondered, how can a big-ass laboratory fit in that house? Yes. Well, because it doesn't exist. So really, my boy Dexter just needs to get him some friends. Maybe even a bad bitch. Shit. <laughs> and for this last one, we have Aladdin. So in the beginning of the Aladdin movie, there's a merchant. Oh, yeah. They say the that that's the... So the theory the, uh... goes that the genie and the merchant are the same person. Yeah, First, they're both I've heard voiced this. by Robin Williams himself. They both have a red sash, same facial hair, and everything. They're the only character in the entire movie with four fingers even got the bushy eyebrows guys these are twins here so apparently after the genie became free he decided he wanted to be a merchant and sell trinkets for a living why you would go from being a genie to selling trinkets <laughs> i have no fucking clue maybe the genie wanted an easier life it's not easy being a genie it's not easy granting wishes you got a lot of people who want wants but not everybody has needs so maybe he just found a new way to sell people their wants or needs you know being a merchant it could be a fun job i used to be a salesman i can i know the kind of fun you can have by selling things so maybe he was looking for that thrill who knows you may even go deeper in you may even go deeper in and say that the merchant was really just trying to sell himself you know how when you're a salesman the most important thing is to be able to sell yourself maybe that's what he was aiming for but at the end of the day this is still creepy nonetheless yes. although this is a conspiracy theory i can get behind like i can Come believe on. this to be true all we need is the official creator say it's yeah. true, then we're I'll good. So no, guys, those were some cartoon conspiracy theories. Oh, uh, guys, that was a video that was Prince Charming reacted to creepy cartoon conspiracy 
theories that will blow your mind. This is Kakashi. This is Kakashi DBZ. Peace.